Who doesn't like little displays telling you technical stuff? Not you. Stay tuned. Tools and supplies needed are soldering iron, solder, masking tape, electrical tape, a ruler, assorted screwdrivers, big and small, exacto knife, pencil, scissors, wire clippers and strippers, jeweler's files, a rotary tool with cutting disc, and your temperature LCD. There are many different styles and colors, so you can just choose what type you like the best. I'm going to use this one since I use the other style on my Xbox. Links to both styles are in the description along with tools and supplies. Okay, so take apart your PS2. I'm not going to go into this. If you need help, check out my last video. Link is in the description. So once you're at this stage, I decided to remove this little metal cage as I didn't want it to get in the way of my LCD. You only need to remove these two screws and it pulls right off. In my last tutorial, I had bent this front part down, which for this mod, it wouldn't be enough, given the small amount of space. Okay, let's focus on the bottom shell. You can mount the screen in this area without serious modification. I used the metal piece as a template to decide where mounting was possible. Again, you can mount the screen between these two posts. Now, we will need to cut a hole, so I'm using the masking tape method, then I drew my cut. To decide how big to make the cut, you will need to take a look at your LCD. For me, it measured half an inch by one and three fourths inch. Now, the cut doesn't need to be perfect. The screen is made so it will hide your cut. Just make sure it fits nice and snug. Also made a small adjustment to the LCD casing itself. There are these tabs on the top and the bottom that help hold it in place. I trimmed the ones on the bottom as there is no way to press those tabs in and I didn't want the screen to be mounted permanently. This screen has two connectors, one for the power and the other is for the sensor. I went ahead and plugged those both in. So from here we need to connect the 12 volt source and the ground. Those points are here. It's come to my attention that the later PS2s changed their power board from the version 4s on. So unfortunately, I don't have a pinout for you as all I could really do is guess since I don't own one of these versions. What I can do is give you an idea on where to look. With your power board removed, find this little white slash clear four pin connector. One side should be the 12 volts and the opposite side should be the ground. Now you will need to make a note of where it connects on the underside so when you put it back onto your main board, you can take your multimeter, set it to DCV20, and test the pins in that area. You will need to be extremely careful as you will need to do this with the PS2 plugged in and either turned on or in standby mode. So hurting yourself or breaking your PS2 is a real possibility. Probe around until you find around 12 volts. Good luck. Okay, since I had this LED strip running practically to where my LCD is, I just pulled power straight from it, positive to my 12 volt, and in the case of RGB strips, the particular color I chose is my ground, so the blue B pad. Alright, so I snaked my temperature probe through the back and just placed it between the heat sinks. Not sure if this is the best place for it, but it will have to do for now. One thing to note is this LCD is a very tight fit. So take that into consideration while you're cutting your hole, which is something that I didn't do, but I fortunately lucked out and it fits together just barely. I may go in later and trim the LED strip if it becomes a problem, but I don't think it will be. Okay, so that's that. After you're all back together, turn on your console and admire your hard work. This is still a work in progress, so keep an eye out for more PS2 mods and the eventual showcase video. I just painted it today, so it will be coming out soon. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, give it a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more modding goodness. All these things help me out a ton. If you have something to say, leave a comment. You can follow me on Twitter at TechnoOnTop for channel updates. Until next time, peace. peace, peace.